Hi, everyone. It's Will. Hopefully you're having a great day today. Um, I am a political economist. I am not a um, certified planner. I'm not a public accountant nor an attorney, just sharing my experiences as I worked through uh, getting a HELOC, uh, reducing my debt. I initially started with credit cards, but I was able to um, successfully obtain a HELOC. Um, so today, just going to give you an update of where I am in terms of the HELOC itself. So I signed the paperwork for the HELOC April, I think the 11th, and I've been kind of running with it. There was a 90 day period where I couldn't make any um, deduction, I mean, any withdrawals from it, only could pay into it. Uh, starting in July the 15th, I was able to start kind of like rocking and rolling with it and um, making some withdrawals and more of a deposit. Um, so as of today, uh, this is my process. I received my paycheck from my employer, uh, W-2. I also have some investment income and consulting. So it's investment and consulting income. So as soon as I get the investment, consulting income, or if someone give me $10 or $20 for my birthday, um, it immediately goes into the bank. From the bank, it goes into the $50,000 HELOC and sit there and I use it. Now, what I'm trying to do is pair the HELOC with a credit card. So I'm making all, I'm trying to make as many purchases as I can. First of all, using the HELOC, and then what I can't do, or which will take up a lot of my time, I use a credit card. So on a daily basis, I have one credit card that I use my daily expenses, weekly expenses, unexpected expenses, monthly expenses. I write cash advances off of this credit card and also convenience checks off of this credit card. Last month, um, I think our wrote maybe uh about seven to eight checks from the HELOCs and that in regards to I paid two of the mortgages out of the HELOC. I paid my student loan by writing the check out of the HELOC. Um I paid my rent and lease where I am now out of the HELOC. I paid utilities in Georgia and California using the HELOC. I wrote a check for the California DMV out of the HELOC and I paid multiple um, HOA fees on my properties for the HELOC. Um, at one point um, for this statement period of the HELOC, July the 7th through August the 8th, and it kind of runs an odd statement period. I tried to call them and change it, but they said um, I was unable to do it. I would like it to go from the 1st to the 31st, um, but it runs like this as a statement. So when it runs from the 7th to the 8th of every month, and, and then I have this credit card that the statement closing date is the 28th of every month. The closing date is the 28th of every month. I then take a sum out of here, which I did this time, 1500 as a recommendation by uh, the viewers. Thank you very much for that. And I paid off the credit card down to zero. Um, at one point, the balance was 44188 And because I ran all these expenses back through it, by the end of the month, I was I was back I was up to fifty thousand five hundred and ten dollars. Um, so this is a part of me also using velocity banking, as I've talked about in some of my earlier videos. And with velocity banking, I'm simply taking a line of credit where I started off with credit cards and paying them down, putting portions of my check in. Then I got a point 
where I got on was able to place everything in one of the HELOCs because, I mean, I'm sorry, one of the credit cards because this particular um, credit card allowed me to get a cash advances off of it and convenience checks off of it at 18% either way. So my credit card itself is 18% and 18% when I use convenience checks or cash advances. And I used those mechanisms in the beginning to pay down the debt until I was able to improve my credit, um, improve the credit profile, and I was able to finally secure a $50,000 HELOC. Then it wiped out one of my one of three mortgages that I had, so I still have two. Um, so in general, that's where I'm at. Um, I pick up my paycheck from my employer, put it in the bank. As soon as I get it, everything goes into the HELOC. From the HELOC, I'm using two mechanisms to pay it down. One, writing a check through the HELOC um, because the HELOC I have is paper-based um, in general, and also um, they're using their credit card. All right. Well, thank you very much for stopping by. I just wanted to update you on where I am in this process of using Velocity Banking and a HELOC to pay down my debt and properties. Thank you very much. Have a great day.